Hey everyone, Trancher Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So, it has been a long time since I have done a YouTube video. Um, social media in general, I kind of dropped off doing that because of things going on. As you can see, the background has changed. I'm living somewhere else now at the moment. I'm living in Minster-on-Sea um, on the Isle of Sheppey. So, still down in the southeast of England. Um, I'm just taking a bit of time. Um, got things to sort out for myself. And so um, just living by myself for a bit and getting things sorted. But I do have all of my animals. I was very lucky I managed to sort of bring all of my animals with me. Um, I've got basically all of my stuff and Stephanie has still has all of her stuff. So we managed to keep everything as you can see behind me. I still even have Yuna the Iguana. I kept everything. So um, one of the things I needed to do desperately, I've been meaning to do for a long time, was um, I have some slings that I need to rehouse basically. And... So of course I contacted the spider shop and I have a tub, uh, a box rather with some tubs in. I'm going to be doing some rehousings, um, but the rehousings will be going up for my patrons because I shit you not, even though I haven't been doing any videos and I've not been contacting anyone at all, I have still had patrons supporting me. So if you're a patron of mine, honestly a huge, huge thank you for your, your continued support. It really has helped me out a lot, especially recently. And... Um, I want to sort of get back into doing what I was before. I want to get back into doing videos regularly and sharing what I know and what I love with all of you. So uh, please, if you watch it this far, please feel free to give me a like. Really um, would really help me out right now. And I'm going to get on with the unboxing video. And um, maybe in the future I'll do some videos, have some chats, tell you about what's been going on, give you an update with things, I guess. So let's carry on with the unboxing video. Uh, so yeah, as always, um, I used uh, the spider shop. There are other traders that I've thought about using recently uh, for different things, but I always go to the spider shop because I have such a good um, relationship with them. I don't really need to go anywhere else, I guess. I know exactly what I'm getting. So of course, box of styrofoam chips. And these are lids. Uh, these are the lids for the enclosures. Okay. There's another box in there, which we'll take a look at that in just a second. I think these are the... Uh, so these are the, the tubs I'll be using for the actual rehousing. Um, I actually have some of these already, and they are really, really good. Also a couple of these spider shop uh, substrate, just the substrate blocks basically. Uh, cheaper than basically anywhere to be fair. I know some pet shops sell teeny tiny little amounts uh, for more than what it costs for this. So if you are into tarantulas and you know, you've any substrate, they do it cheaper than anywhere I think. So uh, yeah, I think this is the box empty. And this is what I bought. So. Down there for a second, and we're going to take a look at this box. Um, of course, the packaging is fantastic, as per always with with the spider shop. So I spoke to Lee, and um, I'll be doing some filming for his sort of social media stuff, which is quite good. Um, always nice to sort of speak to Lee and yeah, you know, the guys over at the spider shop. Um, so this is the box, um, so the first thing I have is this sub-adult adult Hetametra spinifer, which we'll take a look at that in just a second. Uh, next up is this uh, Pseudoclamoris spaghetti, um, one to two centimeters, which is, um, I believe it's very similar to the um, Tapenorchinius. Um, I don't know if it is or was part of that, so. And I've also put a freebie in uh spiderlings not childlings this is a spider shop branded condom not sure i'm going to be using that at the moment but uh thank you for that i will i would say i was going to pin it up somewhere but that's probably not a very good idea but i will put this somewhere safe and uh you know if i'm able to you know get lucky again maybe in the future i'll use this and i'll maybe give a review on that so that's what i received from the spider shop uh there's 14 of these which are fantastic for sort of housing um sort of like juvenile arboreals and uh, fossorial are great even like terrestrials these are mostly for like I say, just for my for my slings 
uh, that could do the, a decent rehouse. Because um, at the moment, some of these, uh, like this one, this is my Lassidor Astrotopies. Um, you can see how, I don't know if you can see how big the spider is, but it could really do with a rehouse. So, this, oops, much, bit, much, much better for it, and uh, cheap and cheerful, which right now, that's what I need, cheap and cheerful, you know? So yeah, uh, 14 of the enclosures, the two substrate uh, blocks, uh, the Pseudoclamoris burgessi and the Hetametra spinifer. We'll take a look at the two spiders now. And um, yeah, also of course, <laughs> the Spoutrail condom. Thank you for that, I, like I say. I'll save that for when it's needed, which at this rate is gonna be in about 20 years time, hopefully. It's, what's the date on this, when does it expire? Can't even see when it expires, but we'll see. Right, let's take a look at the animals. Okay, then so starting off with the uh, Pseudocomoris burgessi, I have the enclosure just here. So we're going to take a look at this. So you can see there's plenty of room in there for it. Um, there's a bit of sort right to the bottom. Some moss, a couple of bits of cork bark uh, down under here. And of course this big twig. So hopefully it'll rub that up and we'll be quite happy in there. Uh, the lid fits on and it's got this bit of tape just to... I think I had Celadonia in this before and I was worried about it escaping. So yeah, plenty of air holes. Gave it a spray. Okay, so that's sorted. Let's take a look at the Hetametrus. Okay then, so Hetametrus spinifer, subadult adult, uh, giant forest scorpion. You cannot go wrong with these, I absolutely love. I love these scorpions. You can just see just there. Try and find, there it is. It might just have a stretch. You can see, it's a decent sized one. Stings intact. The last one I had um, a few years ago now, the um, the sting had chipped away at the end and didn't seem to to use it much. And eventually, it I don't know, it just seemed to die after a few months. For not really sure why, if I'm honest, but. Uh, I'll try and take a bit of a look at this guy. Uh, had one as well, again, several years ago that was missing the uh, missing part of its leg. I have a phone call. Hello? Um, I'm just in the middle of doing my YouTube video, I'm just handling the scorpion. Um, can I give you a call back in a second? You can see, nice and chill. Good size. Probably one of the best, um, best invertebrates for beginners, I think. I love these guys. They won't sort of sting you through aggression, you know? This is the enclosure for it. 
place it down. There you go. You can kind of see the sting a bit better there. It's all intact, which is good. Which is how it should be, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit bigger than I thought. I wasn't expecting this, but I have to rehouse it from this. Um, I've actually got an old fish tank. That might put it in, I think. It should be absolutely fine in there. So we're going to leave these to settle in, and I'll give these a feed in a few days. Um, I'd like to say that the um, any money spent on this was uh, from my Patreon. So if you're a Patreon of mine, a huge, huge thank you for this. Um, the actual rehousing video that I'm going to be doing will be up on Patreon. Um, so like, so when I rehouse uh, these slings down here, that will be um, done uh, patrons only. So uh, I'll have that done as soon as I can. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, first one in a very, very long time. If you have any requests, please let me know um, what you'd like to see. I will be doing an update video to show you what I actually have anyway. Um, I've had some pretty devastating losses recently, so I need to share that with you. Um, so yeah. But anyway, let me know what you think. And um, as always, thank you for your continued support. Please like, subscribe, feel free to share this and any of my other content. And I'll see you soon in the next video.